Now, take a look at this diagram. Remember that we were able to calculate the writing lever from G to Z using the formula GZ equals GM times sine theta. Also remember that if we shift the center of gravity lower in the boat, the writing lever increases. If we draw another right angle triangle representing the shift in G, we can calculate a correction to apply to the original GZ using the formula G to G1 times the sine of the angle of heel. This correction can be added or subtracted to determine how the writing lever has been affected by a shift in the center of gravity. Now, imagine that the center of gravity is at the keel, which is as far down as it can possibly go. What we have now is a triangle that's formed based on the height of the metacenter from K to M, and a new point known as N. What you see is that K to N is essentially GZ with an assumed center of gravity of zero. If we were given the value of Kn for our ship, we could apply a correction to Kn for any center of gravity to figure out our writing lever. This is very similar to how we calculated corrections to Gz based on a shift in our center of gravity, only this time the shift in the center of gravity is from K to G. So the formula for the correction changes from G to G1 times sine theta to Kg times sine theta. The correction will always be subtracted from the Kn value because the center of gravity can't go any lower than the keel. The final formula to determine the writing lever using Kn values is Gz equals Kn minus Kg times the sine of the angle of heel. This simple formula can be used to calculate writing levers for any angle of heel as long as we know our Kg and the value of Kn from our stability book. That's why most stability books will include a table of Kn values. These values are given for the ship at various displacements and various angles of heel. By using these table values and the formula to find Gz, you can quickly determine the writing lever for any center of gravity and any angle of heel. The versatility of Kn values is why they are commonly found in stability booklets and used in statical stability calculations.